Hey guys, it's George from Aperture and today I'm going to be giving you a quick tutorial on how to use your Launchpad with Tractor Pro. I used this on the Diatomics mix with Connor when we did the 10k dubstep mix and you can see that he used it a bit like a midi fighter to do some cool stop effects and a few stutters and some beat mashing. Quite a few of you asked me to do this tutorial so I thought I'd just take some time to just quickly show you how to do it. It's really straightforward. So first of all, just go onto the DJ Tech Tools website and then click on MIDI Maps and go to Tractor and then just scroll down to the Novation Launchpad on the controller selector and it usually is the one at the top, the one by uh, JHYPH in Will. You need to have an account to download but that's not a big deal so just make one, sign up and then just click download and it'll download the, uh, the zip. You can save that zip and then extract it and inside there should be a TSI file and that's got all the configuration settings such as like the effects and the beat mash presets which you need for it to work properly. So once that's downloaded just go on to Tractor, open up your preferences menu and then back up all your stuff so just click export, tick all these boxes hit OK, just name it something like Backup 4 Backup 4 oh, I can't type Now that you've backed it up, import the new one So just go into wherever you extracted it, find the TSI Set that in now for me, I unchecked GUI layout and other preferences and settings because I find that it messes up the layout of my tractor and I don't like that, so that's down to you. But make sure you have effects, controller mappings and keyboard mappings all checked, otherwise it won't work. So just hit OK and then if your launch pad's plugged in, it should automatically recognize it. However, if it doesn't, go into controller manager and then just see all four of these JWorld generic MIDI devices. Just hit each one and then just set the import and output to the launch pad. It takes a little bit of time going through each one, but it's no big deal. Just click on each one, set it to launch pad, and you'll see that your launch pad will light up as you do it. So now that's done, your launch pad should be ready to go. There's a little diagram on the uh, on the mapping page which will show you what each button does. So there's your looping on each deck, your instant grat, hot cues, EQ kills. Just study that. So hopefully this tutorial was informative. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'm sure I'll answer. Uh, and subscribe if you want to see some more songs and stuff from Aperture and maybe a few more tutorials like this. And hopefully we'll be putting up some new mixes soon. So thanks for watching.